Hi, I'm Sherry with Freedom in a Can, and we are in beautiful Southern California right now, completely surrounded by these gorgeous wildflowers from all the recent rain. We are here today to test out Renogy's brand new 220 watt bifacial solar panel and see how it works. So what does bifacial mean? Well, it means you can collect energy from both sides of the solar panel. So for comparison, let's take a look at our 100 watt foldable solar suitcase from Renogy. So on this one, you can only collect energy from the front where the cells are, but this is what a typical solar panel looks like on the back side. Compare that with the 220 watt bifacial panel and you can see that you can actually see through it. It's got cells on both sides. Renogy claims that it is uh, up to 30% more efficient with this new design. It is an absolutely beautiful day, not a cloud in the sky. It's about midday, so it's a perfect time to test this out. Now we have disconnected the panels from the top of Hamlet so that we are charging just with this 220 watt bifacial panel. So we're gonna test it on a black surface as well as a white surface to try to replicate what most RVs have on the roof. Um, white has more of a reflective quality. We're also gonna lay it completely flat on both a black and a white surface just to see if there's any difference. All right, we've got the DC Home app open and you can see that we are collecting no solar at this moment. And we're gonna go ahead and connect the bifacial panel to Hamlet and we'll see what we get. Okay, so on a black surface with the panel tilted, we're bringing in 16.2 volts, 11.23 amps, and about 182 watts. All right, gonna put that white surface underneath. Okay, we just got a few more watts coming in with the white surface underneath, so we're up to 185 watts. So let's turn it around and see how much light is coming through the other side and see what that wattage is. So even with the back side of the panel, to the sun, we're pulling in 86 watts and just over five amps. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's try it with the white with the panel in reverse to the sun. That bumped it up to 92 watts on that white reflective surface from the back side of the panel. So these brackets that make up this tilt mount are not included with the bifacial panel, so it's something you'll need to buy additionally, but it really does help to optimize your solar gain. So laying flat on a black surface, again, midday, not a cloud in the sky, we've got 176 watts. So now with the white surface underneath with the panel laying flat, we're at 174 watts. So not a huge difference. So just for comparison, we plugged in our 100 watt folding solar suitcase. And in the full sun, we are getting about 86 watts. Now we're gonna turn it around and see what we get on the reverse angle. We are getting 17 watts. That is a huge difference. We put our 100 watt foldable solar suitcase down on the ground flat, and it looks like currently we are getting about 71 watts. Something that folks don't realize is with just a little bit of partial shading on a portion of the panel, like a tree branch or a telephone pole, something like that, it will greatly reduce the wattage. In this case, it went from 87 to 45 watts. To increase the efficiency with partial shading conditions on these more modern panels, they've installed the solar cells in smaller clusters. So when there is some partial shading across it, you don't lose the entire half or the entire panel itself. So like for instance, if I hold my hand right here over a small portion of the panel, it drops down to 154 watts instead of losing almost half or the entire panel. So let's get into some of these numbers and review. Now you can find the conditions of our test as well as a blog review in the video description below. But we were not trying to do a laboratory test. We were trying to put this panel through its paces in some real world conditions. To compare performance of the panels, we converted their wattage output into a percentage of the nominal charge. This would allow us to compare apples to apples between very different panels. In the angled position and facing the sun, the two panels produced a wattage of about the same percentage, with the bifacial panel producing 84% and the suitcase producing 86%. But in the flat installation, the bifacial panel really outperformed the suitcase, producing 80% compared to 71%.
and the reverse angle orientation is where the bifacial really outshines the suitcase at 39% versus 17%. Additionally, the bifacial seemed to outperform the suitcase when partially shaded at 70% versus 45%. But since I was just using my arm to partially shade the panel, it's difficult to say that we were shading each panel equally. So what we're taking away from this test is that the bifacial panel is more versatile and performs better in conditions that RVers and boat owners will likely face. Most folks install their panels flat on their roof so they can still move their RV around. In our results, the 220 watt bifacial panel produced a higher percentage of power than the single sided panel in a flat orientation. And with the overall dimensions of the 220 watt bifacial panel just slightly larger than the single sided 200 watt panel, you're getting more solar panel in a similar footprint. If you're gonna park your RV for a while and take advantage of those tilt mounts for greater efficiency, then the bifacial may help you take advantage of that lower sun angle earlier in the morning and later in the evening as well as during the fall, winter, and spring. And if you're in a designated campsite, let's be honest, are you gonna be able to move your rig around in order to optimally face the sun at all times? Not usually. Some other options for RV installation could be a side-mounted RV window shade or a portable panel that you'd set on the ground similar to a solar suitcase. For homeowners, these new bifacial panels are an excellent choice for pergolas, sunrooms, patio shade covers, and those folks who have their array set up on an elevated tilt mount. So thanks for watching folks. Shoot us your questions and comments and hit that subscribe button and we will see you on the road.